Hello everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Today we're going to be wandering randomly among the deserted streets of Detroit slash wherever we are, Steam City. So let's go this way. And uh, my save file accidentally um, broke because I didn't play this back to back, so the, I might have more or less potions or something, I'm not really sure. Apparently I got all my health back though, so that's good. And uh, when I had to fight that scorpion thing again, since uh, my save file, I left my PlayStation on and decided to turn off, so, because there wasn't a save point, and I didn't want to record another video, so I just kind of left my PlayStation on, and when I got back, it was off, so I had to fight that Scorpion guy again, so he was like, basically, Shinra soldiers, let's fight him. Uh, <clears throat> so basically, all I did was use magic that entire battle. Yeah, look at my massive sword. You think your machine gun affects me, mortal? Shall destroy you. Yeah, she shall. And five. <laughs> Here we are. Waiting for a time bomb to fill up. Yeah. You're dead. I'm, I'm better. Win no sword. Victory. Get out my back. 32p. Ooh. People just got destroyed. Ouch. Oh. Hit my desk. Do fight them! Fight them all! I thought I just killed those guys. They just keep coming. They're probably just gonna keep coming until I die. It seems like something that would happen. Yeah, you come here. You, yeah, you're dead. Yeah, machine gun. Ho ho ho! It's a pretty powerful machine gun. You got know, four damage. Wow, I guess you got one damage machine gun. Come on, put up your dukes. Come on, look at my giant. Sword. You know how many stakes I can cut through at once with that thing? And you're shooting at me. That's a bad idea. I don't know how I don't die in like one bullet anyway, but still, you should fear me. I'm Almighty Cloud slash Zebulon. Dude. Fight some. Fight some all. I don't know what happened. What would happen on the show later on those guys? You probably just have to fight them anyway. You probably just run away and then the soldiers can come and attack from both sides. What? What is this? I'm gonna kill those guys. Hit me in the back. Because when you hit me in the back, it doesn't have damage. BS. That was some. That was some BS attack from both sides. What is this? Come on. Hey, man. Yeah, you just stand there. Boom, you're about to die, yeah. Oh, critical. I can only assume that's a bit, uh, massive loud sound plus extra damage would do. Is a critical hit, so. Over here. <laughs> I'm just screwed then. That's as far as you go. I don't have time to be messing around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab him. <sighs> Onto the train. Oh man. See that landing is a ninja warrior baby. Oh, we probably died. Hit the top of that tunnel. Now all the soldiers are like, ew. Well that's unfortunate. Mm. Zebulon never came. Zebulon. Wonder if he was killed. No way. Yeah, this is this is bad. Zebulon! I don't even remember her voice, so that's what's gonna be a nasty, screechy voice. Wedge is just kinda chilling there. Say, do you think Zebulon's going to fight to the end for Avalanche? Huh. The heck would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? If y'all weren't such screw ups! Hey, Garbanzo, what about our money? <laughs> oh, nothing. Sorry. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Here we are. Oh. Here we are. Yeah, buddy. Looks like I'm a little late. You're dang right, you're late. Come waltzing in here, making a big scene. It's no big deal. Just what I always do. Okay, I'm not even gonna say that. 
And when everyone worried like that, you don't give a dang about no one but yourself. Probably would have been a lot more fluent if that curse was not it. Hmm. You were worried about me. <laughs> Charades. What? I'm taking it out of your money, hot stuff. That and I don't have money. Wake up. We're moving out. Follow me. Who? Hey, Zebulon. You were great back there. Uh. <laughs> Zebulon, don't, don't kill me. We'll do even better next time. I think that's the kind of voice I have bigs have. Be careful. I'll shut this. There we go. I just kind of karate chop it and it shuts. Oh, Zebulon. Your face is pitch black. There you go. Hey, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. In the problem. Won't happen again. <laughs> oh, let's move this way now. Oh, 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 oh. oh okay. There we go. He's just kind of standing there. And he's just like, oh. Last train out of Sector 8 Station. Last stop, Sector 7 Train Graveyard. That sounds like a really homely place. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Mid-Gaw Standard Time. What's this guy doing? Oh, here I am. I'm looking better than you. This is why I hate the last train. Oh, boy. Don't kill me. What is that guy doing? Huh? huh? This is my house? So make yourselves at home. What do you want? Stop acting like a dang kid. Sit down and shut up. You see the headlines in the Shinra Times? The terrorists that bombed the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor? They sure put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you like to know? I'm supposed to find a seat, apparently. Okay, let's sit here. I don't know where to sit. Huh? So I have okay. Oh jeez. Please, you're bothering the other passengers. Hmm. Hey Zebulon, you wanna look at this with me? It's a map of the Mingar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know? Flashy stuff. Let's take a look at the map. Let's take a look. Okay, it's about to start. Boom. Green. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about one ten thousandth scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. The main support structure holds the place up in the center, and there are other support structures built in each section. Psst, whisper, whisper. Number one reactor we blew up. In the northern section. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's the kind of place this is. <sighs> this is next. Look. This is the route this train is on. Shark Station! Dots, 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 dots. We're going. Where's the loop de loop? When are we gonna. When, when is, it, is it gonna get interesting? There you go. The route spirals around this, the main support structure. I didn't know it was just We should be coming around the center area right now. At each checkpoint, an ID sensor device is set up. We can check the identities and background on each and every passenger on the train by linking it up. To the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. I know I could tell you that we look suspicious, so we're using fake ideas. Oh, we're getting we're getting into the real business now. It's mission impossible. Oh, break my neck. Speak of the devil. That light means that we're in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. Anyhow, we're almost back now. That's a relief. Good. Let's talk to Biggs. Biggs looks like you know stuff. Uh, 
Don't act so darn big. Look, you can see the surface now. This, the city don't have no di day or night. If that place weren't there, we could see the sky. Ooh, ah. Stargazers. Floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You're just full of surprises. The upper world. The city on a plate. It's because of that... That... Pizza. The people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. And punch people. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. And why doesn't everyone move onto the plate? Dunno. Probably because they ain't got no money. Well, maybe. Because they love the land, no matter how polluted it gets. You ever think about that, Zebulon? I know. No one lives in the slums, because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. That's what you get. Those words of wisdom. I really gotta just get a steady voice back to this guy. He's obviously southern type of based character. I can't really think of like what that would be the best as a mysterious train conductor. And here's our group of people. What am I gonna do? Probably last. I don't know. Which one? Oh, that's me, I bet. Nope. Yep, nope, there's Garbon though. Slash Barrett. Okay, that's me. I don't know why you gotta jump out of the train. Yo! Yo, get over here, you all y'all. Oh, that means me. <laughs> Whoopsie. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Wow. That was uh, the best time for Thunder to probably hit on the outside there. I don't even know if my microphone picked it up, but that was massive thunder. I almost took the electricity out because my TV kind of sparked a little bit there. Not like sparked, but like shivered. I don't know, it kind of like turned off for a second, but turned back on. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. Okay, I'll keep that voice one. Meet back at the hideout. Move on. Okay, I've already kind of forgotten the voice, so... Let's talk to these scums. I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. Alright. Sounds like a pretty deep conversation there. Oh, that's where I am. I was like, where at? Oh, uh, this place. Looking pretty amazing. Cheer bar. Or something like that. Well, I don't know, it looks like cheer to me. It ends with the R and I'm pretty sure it starts with C. What is that guy doing? What is it? Don't do that. That's it'll explosions, explosions. Oh man, I have lunch is so cool. Did you hear? No, what? There's a news update. They said that there was a terrorist explosion up above, and at this time, there was a Mako reactor. You don't know what this means? Oh, uh, what? You see, I keep on top of these things. And if you ask me, if you knock out Midgar's power, then all of its computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all. A lot of innocent people got killed too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, there would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. It was in the middle of the night, I don't know. Let's talk to this guy. Okay, go on ahead. Oh boy. Papa. Marlene, aren't you gonna say anything to Zebulon? Welcome home, Zebulon. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Garbanzo? Well, yeah, because I fought beside him. I should have known. He's always pushing people around, and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. 
Tifa. Um, let's think of a better name than Tifa. Let's see here. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Something like. Whoop. Um, that seems right. There we go. I'm <laughs> so glad everyone's safe. Herp -derp. Uh, good thing. Look at this guy, he's playing. Punch his arms together, that's what he's playing. Ah, uh, nothing like that first drink after a job. Why don't you have one too? Yeah, why not? Oh, that's more like it. Even if you were with Soldier, you're still a rookie here, so you better listen to whatever I tell you. Alright, whatever. Oh, Zebulon. Herbert Derper really knows how to cook. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me tell you something. I'm not interested in your stories. Herbert Derper always lets me taste her cooking. Look at me now. I'm roly poly oly. Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's the good food and drinks that makes this shop famous. I bet. Let's talk to this person. Ah, careless. You're getting all excited. I wonder what for. Oh, look, pinball. 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 Can I stand on the counter? I want to stand on the counter. Can I stand? Pinball. Back here. Oh, I can't get back here. Ah, oh, refrigerator. Food. Food. Oh, no. Oven. Okay. We're going to run outside now. Wait. Is that a jukebox? Jukebox. Jukebox. I want to play Rainbow Man. Hello. Papa, welcome home. You're young and... <laughs> you all right, Garbanzo? Great. Get in here, fools. We're starting the meeting. Oh. Into the pinball machine. Into the pinball machine. There we go. There we are. Oh, that looks good. Iron Man on the television. Look at that guy. What's that? Okay. Yo, Zebulon. There's, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? Nope. None. I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. Don't go. Th don't go thinking you're so bad just because you was in Soldier. So punch her in the face. Anyway. Da, 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 da. Ooh, that guy got messed up. Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget that your skinny butt's working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. You want something? You want something, punk? I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. <laughs> uh, it's good. That's funny. Oh, God. Wait, Zebulon. Herpa derpa. Let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up. I don't care about either Shinra or Soldier. Scums. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. Okay, maybe a pinball machine that comes down on your head if you're standing. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we're leaving then. Nope. Listen, Zebulon, I'm asking you. Please join us. No. Sorry, Herpaderp. The planet is dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Garbanzo and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving. You're just going to walk right out, ignoring your childhood friend. Wait. Oh, what, what, what? How can you say that? You forgot the promise, too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember Zeppelin? It was 70 years ago. 
Look, the well. Do you remember? Yeah, back then. I remember when my arms weren't just a little sausage link thing. I thought you were. You would never come, and I was getting a little cold. It's gonna be nothing but like one big cutscene. Awesome. Here I am, sitting at the well. Sorry I'm late. So. Here we are. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Uh, come with spring, I'm leaving this town for Midgar. All boys are leaving, leaving our town. I want to go live where the pollution is. But I'm different from all of them. I'm not just going to find a job. I'm gonna go kill some people. I want to join Soldier. I'm gonna be the best one there ever was. I'm gonna be the best there is. Just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? His foot side, or his blade's like seven feet long. Can't kill him. Isn't it hard to join this altar? Nah. I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. This is big exam you gotta take. Takes 12 hours to finish. They don't care if you miss every one of them as long as you finish it. Huh? Will you be in the newspapers if you do well? I'll try. Hey! Why don't you, why don't we make a promise? Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you come save me, right? What? Whenever I'm in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to be at least experience that one. I want to at least experience that one. What? Come on, promise me. Alright, I promise. Dun, 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 dun. The plot thickens. Shooting star. Oh, jeez. That's like the Final Fantasy VII symbols, the shooting star. Oh, you remember now, don't you? Our promise? Nope. I'm not a hero. I'm not famous. I can't keep the promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on. You gotta keep our promise. That's your order. Okay. I'm better than you. Wait a sec, big time soldier. A promise is a promise. Here. Received Garbanzo's stash. 1500 gil. This is my pay? Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You got the next mission lined up. I'll do it for 3000. What? It's okay, it's okay. We're really hurting for help, right? Uh... That money's for Marlene's school and... 2,000. Thanks, everyone. We ain't gonna get no school. But you just fight a bunch of battles. You get like 20 gil a person. Just beat like 100 battles. And you got know, like 2,000 gil right there. Look at that. I'm adding them together. I, there has not been a single save point in this game. Two and a half decades. So one so far that scorpion plays. So if I died right now, I'd have to fight that scorpion thing again. I have to talk to this guy. Our target's a Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Zebulon. For the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh, don't really know how to use materia. I'll give you that materia you found. Just teach me how to use it. Okay, I'll explain it. Good, because I have no clue what it is at all. Oh, great, we have Herpin Troop in there. Sure, I'll explain how material works. First, access the menu. You know the basic functions? The triangle button brings up the menu. Directional buttons move the cursor. Aha! Yes! Like this. Mm hmm. Really? 
select each menu by using the OK button. If you want to leave the menu, just push the cancel button. See? Let's go ahead. Now you're in the menu. Select the material submarine. Select who you want to use it. Uh, now look at my weapon here. Each weapon and armor has slots in it. Choose which slot you want to use materia in. Now select the materia you want to use. Um, restore. This is a uh, curative materia. If you want to know what effect, if you want to know what its effect is, line the cursor up with the check. Okay. Press the OK button. It's just like selecting map. Let's just slide the cursor up to magic. You, you can see that the available magic has increased. Sweet chicken and cure now. You can now use new magic cure. Well, that would make sense with restore. That's all there is to equipping material. Great. Can't wait to forget everything about that. See, it wasn't that tough. Great, can't wait to have trial and error affect that. When you want to remove any materia, it's easy as pointing to the materia slot and pushing the trial button. So, easy, even a cave land can do There's just one thing you have to be careful of, and that's massive explosions. Whenever you equip materia, your situation changes in a different situation. Parts of you may become stronger, while others get weaker. One strength, two percent maximum HP. Regain MP and magic. Since my stats are so low, that probably doesn't do like anything. Normally, when you equip magic materia, your magic power will get stronger, but your physical strength weakens. Good. Who needs physical strength and me? So materia is kind of a double-edged sword. On the left side of the screen, you can see the materia's effect on you. It's wise not to overuse magic materia, but try out various things. Just the cancel button next to the sub. That's about it. I'll give you some advanced tips later. Great, because I'll probably need them. Phew! What's this? It wasn't that tough. Crap. <laughs> I'm clueless. Well, you handle the material then. Material system. Access the menu, select material, to put material. I'm going this time. Zebulon, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you. Don't forget. Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. Alright, good luck. Man, give me my materia. I'm so good. Boom, boom, boom. 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 So now I got restore on. Cure and ice. So I just lost bolt or something? Cure. Lightning your eyes. I'll just put cure on, that way I'll only use the cure spell because I'll probably just use my sword through most of the game anyway. But I'm not sure if I can give these people material. I can. Give him some lightning. Give some lightning. And uh, you can have the icy one. There you go. There we go. Now we're banging on all cylinders. Get upstairs. Come on. There's many stairs on this side of the building. I don't know. This mysterious weapon man upstairs is found. Okay. Uh, it's like over here. Okay. Go up. Is there stairs? I don't think there are. There are stairs. Alright. Hey, wait a minute, you, you can't just walk out of here without buying something. It might be unhealthy for you, if you know what I mean. Ooh. Weapon shop. The maid. Assault gun. I already have an assault gun. Oh, I bet I could keep the bombs up. Because this, this weapon is a gun. So let's go equip. 
and uh, Gatling gun. Assault gun increased attack percentage to 98%. I can't wait to miss three times in a row. And uh, attacks to 17. So there you go. Much better now. And I don't know where this uh, train station is. I assume it's. But uh, okay, apparently it's over there. So that's where everybody is. So, if you join us next time on uh, Final Fantasy VII, we'll be charging or blazing a trail or something in this general direction to the train station. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Final Fantasy VII. I'm Mr. Waffle, and I really hope we'll find a save point so I don't lose all my data again. I'm out. See you guys next time.